And from logical reasoning, we have different varieties of question like number series, letter series, coding, decoding, direction sense, blood relation, all those kind of questions. And this one coding, decoding question. This is what exactly you face in the exam. So this is board is called as C Q D V I. And the best method to find out the answer for this question is first of all, what I want you to look at these letters over here B O A R D. Do we have all these letters repeated in the code? Well, do we have B here? No. Do we have O? Is it in the code? No. We have A? No. Do we have R? No. Do we have D? Yes, we have D. But all the letters over here, they are not repeated here. Just one or two letter. So if that is a case, if it is all the letters are here in the code, that's a rearrangement of the letters. But in this case, it is not the rearrangement of letters. We have the letters in the code. Some of the letters which are in the code, that is not in the word. So what is the best method for this? What I suggest is go for numerical values of letters or positions values of English letters. That is what it is written over here. A is one, position value of B is two, C3, etc. It goes like that. And Y is 25 and Z is 26. So you need to be really quick in this. What is the position value of B? 2. Uh, what is the position value of O? 15. What is the position value of A? 1. R? 18. D? 4. And how about C? 3. Q? 17. D? 4. V? 22. And I? 9. The next thing. This 2 is scored as 3. So 2 plus 1 is 3. And 15 is scored as 17. So 15 plus 2 is 17. A, that is 1. 1 is scored as 4. So 1 plus 3 is 4. And 18 and 22. 18 plus 4 is 22. And 4 and 9. 4 plus 5 is 9. See that? The pattern is plus 1 plus 2, plus 3, plus 4, and plus 5. Uh, we'll apply the same thing with chalk because the question asks you to find if board is called as C, Q, D, V, I, then how is chalk coded in the same language? That means we have to use the same pattern here. Plus 1, plus 2, plus 3, plus 4, and plus 5. Well, what is C? 3. What is H? 8. What is A? 1. L? 12. K? 11. So 3 plus 1, 4. Fourth letter? D. And 8 plus 2, 10. Tenth letter? J. 1 plus 3 is 4. D. 12 plus 4 is 16. P. And 11 plus 5, 16. P. So it is D, J, D, P. P. So that would be the code for chalk. Well, we'll take an example of another, another word, another example. The forest is called as E P Q F R U. Again, we are looking at F. Do we have F here? Yes. Do we have O? We don't have O here. Do we have R? R is here. Do we have E? We have E here. Yes, we don't have S here. T, we don't have T here. That means all the letters over here in the word, it is not in the code. So it is not a rearrangement. So naturally, we go for the position values of letters. So be quick this time. Let's go first, really fast. 6, 15, 18, 5, 19, 20. And how about this one? On the code E5, 16, 17, 6, 18, 21. Now, see that? 6 is scored as 5, so minus 1. And 15 is scored as 16, plus 1. This is minus 1. This is plus 1. And this is minus 1. And this one, plus 1. So the pattern is minus 1 plus 1, minus 1 plus 1, minus 1 plus 1. 
We have to apply the same pattern for animal. Let's try this. Minus 1, plus 1. And this one, again minus 1, plus 1. Minus 1, plus 1. So A, A is 1. 1 minus, what is the letter before A? Do we have a letter before A? That's an interesting question. Well, if you think about letters or this, you know what, letter series, uh, no, sorry, not letter series, number series. If you think the letter series is on a continuum, the letter before A would be Z. See that? So if it is 1, so is Z before that, right? So that is the zero the letter is Z. So 1 minus 1 is 0, zero the letter is Z, right? And N, N plus 1? O. I, I minus 1? H. And M plus 1? N. A minus 1, again that is Z, or we call it C. And L, L plus 1? L, M. So, well, the animal is called as Z, O, H, N, Z, M. Now, there is another coding method. So, see that? Red is called as 30. So, the letters are called as numbers. Blue is called as 44. If that's the case, what's the code for violet? So if the letters are called as numbers, the first thing that come to my mind is position values of letters. 18, 5, 4, and this one, blue, 2, 12, 21, and 5. However, how these numbers become 30. Let's look at different operations possible. So 18 plus 5 plus 4. So 18 plus 5, 23. 23 plus 4, 27. And this one is 30. So the sum is 27 and what we have is 30. How come this 27 become 30? And in this case, look at this. Same operation. We add these numbers, we'll try this. 12 plus 2, 14. 14 plus 5, 19. 19 plus 21, that is 40. <laughs> that 40, here what it is given for us, it's 44. This is 27 became 30, and 40 became 44. See that? This difference is 3. This difference is 4. When you look at this, how many letters we have? 3 letters. So 27 plus 3 is 30. <coughs> How come that 27? 27 is the sum of position values of these letters. And in this case, 40 plus how many letters we have? 4 letters. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. All right, next one. In this case, the answer, violet. So violet would be 22 9, 15, 12, and 5, 20. <coughs> What's the best way of adding these numbers? What I suggest is, see that, 5 and 15, 20. 20 plus 20, 40. The balance is what we have is 22 plus 12, 34. 34 plus 9, 43, 43 plus 40, 83. So that is the sum, 83. However, how many letters we have? Six letters. So that 83 plus 6, 89 would be the answer for this question. See that? This is pretty much the basics of coding and decoding. If the same letters are not repeated. If the letters are repeated, that would be slightly different. We'll take a look at that bit later. See you next time.